Welcome to Opportunity, the Science Talk Show. Let's celebrate the World Space Week with the channel 13.8. I'm Pavitra Suresh. Ways to Wealth Waste is a natural byproduct of the phenomenon of life and the growth of societies. It is viewed as unwanted or unusable materials that can be discarded or disposed after the primary use. Plants shed their leaves, animals excrete and humans create a boundless heap of waste of countless varieties. Rather than these, there are numerous hazardous waste which is produced as a result of industrialization. This may cause environmental pollution and degradation. Industrialization is inevitable for the development of the society. So the only thing we can do is handling these ways in an effective manner. Nowadays, we are hearing about a Shigella bacteria spreading among the people. It is said that it mainly spreads through contaminated food and water, which in turn due to the improper waste management. Thus, proper waste management is now a natural priority as seen through the Swachh Bharat mission. In this project, we will observe how we can change these waste into wealth, thus create a positive impact in the society. Based on the nature of waste, it is classified into many types. The first one is biodegradable waste. The biodegradable waste materials are waste of living organisms, actual plant or animals or organisms when its life ends. It is usually believed that biodegradable wastes are not harmful to the health of people and also to the health of environment. But a quick glance at our habitats is enough to prove that it affects health if not disposed properly. We are mainly using decomposition process as a disposal method for biodegradable waste. We are taking the food and vegetable waste and converting it into manure. We are also taking the cow dung directly for the growth of plants. The next type is the non-biodegradable waste. The non-biodegradable waste includes the plastics, ceramics, kitchen wares, etc. Yes, plastic. Plastic is a real threat to this world and to the health of people and also to the environment. But we know that plastic is very useful in our daily lives. So we cannot wipe out plastic completely from our day-to-day -day life. But we can reduce its use. Limiting the use of plastic is the best method to protect the environment and the health of people. In the case of non-biodegradable waste, we are mainly using recycling process as a disposal method. At first, all the wastes are collected in trash boxes. Then, it is transported to various places. They sort each and every waste and it is recycled into a new useful product. The non-biodegradable waste can also be classified as recyclable and non-recyclable waste. The waste materials that can be put to use again by the process of recycling is called the recyclable waste and it includes plastic, paper, cardboard, steel, etc. The waste materials that cannot be recycled or that cannot be put to use again through the process of recycling is called the non-recyclable waste and it includes CFL lamps, kitchen wares, mirrors, leather bags, e-waste, etc. I think you might have heard about e-waste. The electronic components nearing the end of its useful life are termed as e-waste. The disposal of e-waste is still a question mark to this world. In the case of non-recyclable waste, its disposal is really a challenge. But traditionally, we are dumping it in a landfill or destructing it through the process of incineration. As a first step for waste management, we can all segregate our household waste. You can separate it as dry and wet waste or you can separate it as biodegradable and non-biodegradable waste. By separating it like this, it will be easy for you to take the biodegradable waste and convert it into manure and use it for plants. 
and in the case of non biodegradable waste you can take it and transfer this into specific disposal units these are the main 5 r's in the sector of waste management they are refuse reduce reuse recycle and recover you might have heard about the carbon neutral project meenangadi the purpose of this is to propose a sector wise adaptation and mitigation strategies for carbon neutrality zero waste and zero emission are the two important pillars of carbon neutral project meenangadi the meenangadi gram panchayat is collecting almost 1 ton of waste every day from its commercial areas and markets meenangadi gram panchayat is collecting almost 1 ton of waste every day from its commercial areas and markets a two unit of aerobic composting is there in the town for managing the biodegradable waste for managing the non biodegradable waste a material collection facility center and a plastic shredding machine were installed the cleaned and segregated plastics collected by the harita karma sena was used for the tarring of 250 meter kolagapara road the sultan bateri become the sultan of cleanliness at first the authorities cleaned 13 drainages from the town and they removed all the waste from the public sports it is made possible by the dedicated participation of the officials and common people like auto drivers taxi drivers etc now they employ people to collect waste from the houses near the town and thus they are maintaining the name the sultan of cleanliness this is a flow chart which shows how waste leads to wealth here the waste is mainly divided into biodegradable and non biodegradable waste you know that majority of the biodegradable waste get converted into manure and it really leads to wealth and some of it will become products and it leads to wealth in the case of non biodegradable waste there are recyclable and non recyclable waste as we all know recyclable waste get recycled and it become a new useful product and it leads to wealth in the case of non recyclable waste some will get converted into products and leads to wealth and a few will go in the form of hazardous waste in my house we are obeying proper waste management as much as we can as a part of carbon neutral project the panchayat distributed compost pits it is said that all waste which are not non biodegradable and which are not wet can be put into this compost pits and it will turn into manure within 14 days in the case of plastics and other non biodegradable waste we are collecting it and keeping it the harita karma sena will collect it once in every month i also tried to make the people aware of proper waste management when i observed i became very happy to see that majority of the people in my locality are similarly responsible about their waste with this dedicated participation of the people i'm sure that meenangadi panchayat will reach the completeness of its mission within one year and this is a very good example to show if there is people support or if they do their role correctly and effectively no mission is impossible through this project i understood how important proper waste management is but this will all become possible only by the dedicated participation of the people i think that the particles from e waste can be used in the field of robotics and also the plastics after cleaning and shredding can be used for the preparation of tar cement etc now many innovative ideas are arising in the field of waste management but the problem is not completely solved people are working on it our lifestyles play an important role in it a small change in our lifestyle can bring a great change in the field of waste management taking a cloth bag while you are going to market or taking the food only you needed are simple simple methods that we all can follow as a first step for proper waste management always remember that 
my waste is my responsibility and act according to it if there is any waste in your home and if it is non biodegradable please think of innovative ideas it will be interesting for you and it will be good for the nature so always keep in mind that waste is only waste if we waste it thank you